After six long years, Christian made a surprising in-ring return on WWE Raw. Psych! Pro Wrestling Bits! There's nothing better than a bit! Kevin Owens beat Angel Garza after Angel Garza beat Kevin Owens a few weeks back in what was the biggest win of his career. Now everybody gets to be mediocre. I'll take 10 super seniors who can draw me money before I take an entire roster of guys who are all at the same level. With racial tension at an all time high, Bobby Lashley ended his interracial marriage. Then MVP called Lana Thot, a term popularized by Chief Keith, shout out to him. That moment trended on Twitter and the entire culture shared a moment. I see you Vince. The adventures of the Viking Prophets continued as they fought ninjas. Yes, ninjas. It's kind of funny. There's a giant ninja. There's a big show. He's babyface now. The Viking Raiders have to turn heel, right? The Reverend Seth Rollins was boring as usual. Dominic Mysterio was awkward as usual. Rey Mysterio bailed everything out with his ungodly commitment and promo ability as usual. I don't know who's with me, but I see something in this Natalia temper tantrum gimmick. Plus, word of the wise, push Liv Morgan. Find somebody else to lose to the Iconics. Apollo Crews beat Shelton Benjamin and he might be turning heel? God, I hope so. Not a good night to be Drew McIntyre. McIntyre got tricked into defending the WWE Championship and the 24-7 title by R-Truth of all people. You know, the guy who screws everything up? That's literally his gimmick. Frustrated, Drew McIntyre, your top babyface, trusted R-Truth, you know, the guy who screws everything up, to go to the powers that be by himself and make it right. Then get this, get this. R-Truth, you know, the guy who screws everything up, completely screwed this up. Now Drew McIntyre's WWE Championship is on the line, and 50% of his faith with the most important championship in the entire company lies in the butterfingers of Pretty Ricky. Fool me twice, buddy. If that's not enough, Drew McIntyre actually trusts R-Truth, you know, the guy who screws everything up to score the winning pinfall. Riddle me this, Hoss. What was to stop R-Truth from being like, oh, uh, my bad, dog. I forgot to tell you, I was also supposed to win the WWE title if I got the pinfall. Now you're up Shit's Creek without a title. Drew would only have himself to blame. This after WWE worked so hard for so many months to make him into one of the best book babyfaces in years. Less of this, please. Pretty please. Drew's essentially the only thing these carnies haven't screwed up. Bailey and Sasha Banks to defend the women's tag team titles against the Iconics, assuming they get past Shotzi Blackheart and Tegan Knox. Does anybody think these NXT women have a chance? Oscar retained against Nia Jax, but not before Nia paid homage to one of the biggest blunders of her own career. We all gotta laugh at ourselves. And now for our main event, Randy Orton versus Christian with Ric Flair acting as Christian's public defender, all of whom were in their prime before NXT was even a germ. This on a show that featured the big show and Rey Mysterio who's killing it. If you were worried that Paul Heyman guys would take a back seat to established vets, keep worrying. Also Ric Flair's heel now in 2020. Randy Orton wins in a minute. He was so great on the show. Overall, the show was fine. There was a strong storyline throughout the show and Orton, Edge, and Flair played their parts brilliantly. But the show relied on two much comedy and the shift to older guys in week one of Raw is Bruce is troubling. Let's give it a C plus.